The NCAA has levied harsh penalties on Syracuse athletics and the university responds. I'm Courtney Cox and this is your ACC Now. The NCAA has released its findings and penalties into Syracuse's men's basketball and football programs. They found that the university did not control and monitor its athletic programs and they also found that the head men's basketball coach failed to monitor his program. Here are the penalties. Jim Beheim will be suspended for the first nine games of the ACC season next year. The men's basketball program will have scholarships reduced three per year for four years. Wins will be vacated in which ineligible players participated between 2004 and 2012, covering five basketball and three football seasons. And significant monetary fines and a five-year probationary period. The NCAA has accepted this year's postseason ban for the men's basketball program and did not add additional years. The findings cover multiple violations, including academic misconduct, extra benefits, and the school's lack of control over its athletic program. In response, Syracuse Chancellor Kent Severud issued a lengthy statement, which reads in part, Although the university recognizes the seriousness of the violations it has acknowledged, it respectfully disagrees with certain findings of the committee. Specifically, the university strongly disagrees that it failed to maintain institutional control over its athletic programs or that men's basketball head coach Jim Beheim has taken actions that justify a finding that he was responsible for the rules violations. The Chancellor also added that this investigation has taken longer than any other in NCAA history, close to eight years. He cited the investigation into the fixing of the 1919 World Series and 2007 investigation into baseball's steroid use as only taking two and 21 months respectively. The university is considering whether it will appeal certain portions of the decision. We will stay tuned for that. I'm Courtney Cox, and that is your ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.